What's up guys, this is Corey with the Dirt City Gym. I'm back with another deck profile for y'all. Today we're going to be looking at Lycanroc, Vileplume. Um, so obviously, the city have Vileplumes everywhere right now, so we're just kind of looking at another form of item lock if you want to go that route. Um, kind of goes a different way. Um, potentially, depending on how quickly or not we can get going, we can actually kind of shut out the city by Vileplume. Um, so it works out pretty well. But anyway, moving on... So let's get into the list. So first up, we've got four of our Rock Ruff. Um, gotta have the Rock Ruff in order to get into the Lycan Rock. Four Rock Ruff, and then three Lycan Rock. He's really kind of the star of the deck. Um, 200 HP, stage one, fighting type. He's got the attack Crunch. For fighting in a colorless, it does 30 damage, and then you remove an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's kind of where we're going with the deck. Locking them out of items, and then just removing all their energy. Um, he's also got the attack Excel Rock. For two fighting in a colorless, it does 120 damage. If you ever need to finish something off, Excel Rock's not a bad way to go about it. And then finally, he's got um, Lycan Fang GX. Um, for two fighting in a colorless, it does 200 damage, and um, then you remove two energy attached to Lycan Rock. Um, again, kind of as a finisher, it's not a bad way to go. Um, and you gotta remember, being that it's a fighting type, we also have access to strong energy to boost all of our attacks at least 20 um, per fighting energy, or per strong energy. So, pretty good stuff there. The next up, we've got the 2-2-2 two, two, two Vile Plume line, which is a pretty much kind of the standard Vile Plume line now. Um, in order to still have enough time to get out the item lock, um, and still have room in the deck for other things to go with. And then finally, we've got um, 3 Shaman EX, again, just um, try to get those explosive starts and things like that. Moving into the items, trainers, and supporters, and all that good stuff, um, we've got 3 level ball. Um, these help us find our Oddishes, our Glooms, um, our Rock Ruffs. Um, all the kind of stuff we need to kind of get set up and going. Uh, we've got two Revitalizer, which is a really good card in order to um, kind of get back our resources if we need to um, Ultra Ball away a Gloom or a Vile Plume or something early to go get the last part of the line. Then we can Revitalizer and get back those other two pieces and kind of get that item lock going pretty quickly. We've got four Trainer's Mail. Um, just kind of shuffle through the deck, um, kind of get all the pieces we need. We could need a couple different pieces between the Ultra Balls, Level Balls, and Force of Giant Plants, and Float Zones in order to get that item lock out as quickly as possible. Four Ultra Ball, pretty standard stuff there. And then um, four Force of Giant Plants is our only state in the deck. Um, this is how we get item lock out on turn one. Being able to evolve all the way up into a um, Vile Plume is really good. Running one Lily, um, just some extra draw support. Um, Obviously, we're not running Via Seeker in this deck because it's an item lock deck, so we need to be able to draw through our cards as much as possible. So Lily is a pretty good way to get about that. Um, next up, we got two Lysander. Um, it's really good just getting up what we need in the active when we really need it. Um, three in. Um, sometimes we need to conserve our resources and still draw at the same time, so it's a pretty good way to go about that. Uh, one Olympia. Olympia helps us if we ever get stuck. Um, with a Vile Plume at the active before we can get a Float Stone on it or something like that. Um, it's good Lysander bait, same thing with Shamans. Um, if we can't get the uh, Float Stone down before we get the item lock up, Olympia is a good way to get uh, that active in those kind of situations. Next up, we've got one Professor Kukui. Um, Lycanroc's uh, damage output's a little low, so throwing in a Professor Kukui, getting those extra 20 damage, and getting those extra two cards um, is always pretty good to have. Next up, we've got four Sycamore. Again, just the best draw support in the game. And finally, we've got um, three Team Flare Grant. Just kind of working with the Lycanroc. Um, usually by turn two, we're able to get the Lycanroc going. And by then, they already have at least one energy attached. So we go Team Flare Grant, then Crunch. We kind of remove their energy off the field. Kind of keep them from being able to play the game. Next up, we've got three Floatstone. Obviously, we want to get these down on a Vile Plume as quickly as possible. Um, usually on a Gloom before we evolve into that Vile Plume, so we can get out of the active with that Vile Plume. Then finally, we've got um, four Strong Energy. Again, these power up the Lycan Rock, make them do a little bit more damage. And then five Basic Fighting Energy. Um, we don't need a whole lot of energy in the deck. Generally, we're going to be attacking with Crunch majority of the time, but um, every now and then, if we need to go up and do the Excel Rock or even Lycan Fang GX. Um, those aren't bad options. So anyway guys, that is the list, so let's see if we can get into some battles right quick. Alright, it looks like... Not too sure actually. Maybe Vespaquin? Which is not a great matchup for us either. We need to get item lock out like... As soon as possible. Assuming this is 
this book in. Alright, we got the Oddish, the Floatstone, and the Rock Rough. Alright. Okay, so it looks like it's definitely probably gonna be Vespaquin then. With the flip of the unknown. Octillery Vespaquin. Okay, so he's not got a lot going on, so. Need to take advantage of that. Um looks like we're not really gonna be able to take anything there. Just go ahead and Sycamore. Okay, so there's our force. Okay, so now we have access. To the Vileplume. It's not his first turn, but it's our first turn, so that's not too bad. Alright, we will Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of the Inn and the Sycamore, or the Forest. Get one of these shamans. We'll pull that. We'll go ahead and drop the rock rough. Drop the shaman. We'll set up for five. Put the float stone. On the shaman, trainer's mail. Um, I'll take the ultra ball. I'll go ahead and set up, or get a lichen rock ready to go. Get one of those. Okay, so we have one lichen rock prized. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. So we'll go ahead and get the item lock going. I think we'll be safe just to go ahead and pass here. So we're just going to get the unknown. All right, there we go. Just get the scoop screen. All right, this looks like maybe Mewtwo or Espeon Wob. That's starting to see a lot of attention right now. All right, so far so good. We have a pretty good setup. Let's see. Okay, Trubbish. So that doesn't really tell us much. Go ahead and get the Oddish. Drop the Oddish. Drop the Floatstone. Ultra Ball. Get rid of these guys. Go get a shaman. Imagine this is probably Mewtwo we're playing up against then. Alright, um we can drop that. Go get another rock rough. Shaman will set up for three. There's a vile plume, but there's forest. 
we gotta have a forest, so we'll go ahead and do that. Drop the forest. <clears throat> I think we'll sycamore. Hopefully we can pull into a gloom and a revitalizer here. We'll get the ultra ball so we can go get... Um, get rid of the team flare grunt. Go get gloom. And we'll go up into Vile Plume. And get that turn one item lock off so he can't get the float zone on the Trubbish, so. We are looking pretty good. see over here. Spirit Links, okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and drop the other strong energy. Play the Lily. Got the Lycan Rock, so that's good. And then we'll go ahead and crunch. Should be for the knockout. Take our prize. Get another forest. She has to hard evolve that Mewtwo now, so. Can get rid of that Shrine of Memories. We don't have to worry about damage change. We'll be alright. Which. We're gonna be consistently or constantly getting rid of his energy, so it's not something we really have to worry about. Because it needs four energy in order to get the damage change off. So we're probably gonna get a Shadow Shop for 50. Alright, we'll drop that. Let's see, actually, we can just knock out here. Drop the energy, and then we can Lycan Fang GX for the knockout. Alright guys, well, unfortunately those weren't great matchups, but we were able to get out item lock super quickly and just kind of demonstrate how the deck works, so um, that is Lycanroc Vileplume, guys. Let me know what y'all think about the deck down below in the comments, and I will see y'all next time.